tonight I have the 2020 Kia Soul X line. This is finished in what I like to call Stormtrooper white, and it really does kind of look like a Stormtrooper. This whole new design is really quite attractive. It keeps in line with the Kia Soul's design language in the past. It's definitely easily recognizable, and there's just some cool little cues all throughout. It's a pretty nice looking car. It's my first day driving it here, and I wanted to give you guys some first impressions on what it's been like on kind of initial thoughts and also give you a night drive show you what the headlights everything looks like in the dark pretty decent amount of room on the back I'll also be doing a daytime review where we'll get a little bit more in depth with everything but for now let's just go over some of the basics MSRP on this is just shy of 23 grand 22,960. We have a two liter naturally aspirated engine and front wheel drive. This X line is made to be a little bit, a little bit more rugged looking. It has some plastic cladding on it. It's just made to look a little bit more like a hiking boot, kind of like the Crosstrek, but with Kia style. Transmission is what Kia calls the IVT. It's basically just a CVT that has shift points programmed into it. And um, when you're just driving around normally, it feels really pretty good. Um, you barely, you notice that it's, it feels like an automatic, but it's just a little bit smoother in its power delivery. It's very quiet, there's no droning. Um, it has really, really good manners. When you start to hustle it, it, then it kind of starts to show its colors as a CVT. You can hear those simulated shifts. 147 horsepower from this 2-liter engine. It pulls really well, though. And as always, the Kia Soul's handling is, is sharp. This is definitely a fun little car to drive. I will say though, the suspension is a little bit on the stiff side. I would think that they would want to soften this up a little bit more. And I wouldn't mind if I sacrificed just a little bit of handling capability for some more ride comfort. On the highway though, it feels good. It feels nice and solid. I've been getting about 30 miles to the gallon. I believe the highway rating for this is uh, 33, 30 combined. Pretty minimal wind noise, a little bit of tire noise. The handling is really sharp. The seats keep you well bolstered. There's a lot of mechanical grip. Everything in here feels, it honestly feels pretty familiar. It feels pretty typical Kia, Soul. Um, the feeling of this car is, eh, it's pretty similar, in my opinion, to the last Soul. It's maybe refined a little bit. Where you really get your changes is in the looks department and uh, the way everything's designed. We still have really simple layouts of all the buttons and climate controls. I will say I do like the CVT quite a bit. When you're not hustling it and just driving it normally, it really, really kind of stays out of the way. It works in the background. It's nice and responsive. It kind of delivers just a smoother driving experience than a traditional automatic would, but yeah, definitely did a good job tuning this transmission, and uh, I think it strikes a nice balance between kind of typical CVT and a good automatic. It's a pretty quiet car to drive. Not a lot of fanciness in here. We have traditional cruise control. We have blind spot monitoring in the mirrors. 
but no lane keep assist or anything like that. At only 23 grand, we're not quite going to be getting into that just yet. But this is kind of a, this car is a good size. It's fun to hustle around a little bit. I find myself darting around in this a little bit more aggressively than I usually would. Finding some gaps in traffic and just kind of, you know, just hustling this, this Kia Soul just a little bit more. And it is fun. I would like it to be a little bit quieter, a little bit less crashy over bumps. It's not bad. Um, but again, would, wouldn't mind just a little bit more suppleness from the suspension. I'm pretty impressed with the power. Feels good. Plenty of pull on the highway. The engine sounds a little bit strained at high RPMs, but that's usually the case with a CVT. Honestly though, you're never really flooring this car. You have plenty of power normal driving without really li listening to this engine scream. See so stop start engage there. If I let off the brake pedal now, there's a slight delay. I wish that could the engine would start up just a little bit quicker. Sometimes there's a little bit of a lag from when you let off the brake and hit the accelerator. But you could always anticipate it let off the brake a little bit earlier, kind of learn to use the stop-start system. And of course you can turn it off down here to the left. In our day review we'll go over the Apple CarPlay talk about the infotainment and I'll show you a little bit more around the interior. It's pretty dark tonight so you can't see a whole lot but stay tuned for the next video. Until then guys I think uh, that's going to wrap it up. Thanks for watching. I do like about this is the keys really cool you have kind of a that detonator design where you hit it with your thumb that'll lock the car underneath that is the unlock button and you have this little key that pops out you do stick it in the ignition but the way you hold this key and the way the, the ignition and everything is set up you don't have to turn it in any strange ways it just goes right in and uh, ergonomically this is a really nice key it's got a good weight to it too it feels nice and premium even though it isn't a smart key All right, guys, so there you go. 2020 Kia Soul X-Line. We'll come back with another review later this week. Until then, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys later.